N T. All right, today we're gonna make uh, apples. Not an apple pie. It's like an apple pie without a face. It's called an apple galette. Galette. An apple galette. Um, here we have pie crust. I guess they come in a box. So just this is this is what you would use for the top and the bottom. Yeah, but we're just gonna use one. Just one side. Yep. Okay. Cool. So. And then we have some cinnamon and sugar. What we're gonna use to season the apples with. Apples. And then this is the egg wash, which is one egg, a tablespoon of water, and a pinch of salt. One egg, a tablespoon of water, a pinch of salt, and then put it in here and just now you have your egg wash. You wanna put the temperature at what time? 375. 375. So now we got our apples. So we're going to peel them because right, so. we're going to cut them and we need to take the core out of them. So what we do to start this off, you want to cut this piece off of it, it makes it easier to peel it. So then that's done. So now how I peel it, you can use a vegetable peeler if you want, but if you feel comfortable with the knife, do you feel comfortable with it? Yeah, sometimes. Okay, well, it makes me feel like a G because it reminds me of my grandmother's. So. No, this reminds me of um, Dennis the Menace. Remember uh, the bad guy from Dennis the Menace? Yeah. Christopher <laughs> Lloyd. If you go up and down, it's easier. Because right, you see so how you cut the bottom and the top off, so it just. I was going left to right. Up and down. Yeah, up and down. All right. So next up is cut this in half. Yep. Right down. The side. So now you see how you end up with the cores? You want to take those out. If you don't have a core, just use one of these. Or if you want to use your knife, you can use your knife. Just be careful. If you don't want to use that, you can just use this. You kind of just scoop it out. Wow. That scooping made a big difference. You kind of just save a little bit of time. So now we're going to take our apples. We're gonna put them down like this. That's your okay. And now we're just gonna make thin slices. Cause this is what we're gonna use for the galette. And you want them to be thin because you want them to cook in the oven like evenly and quickly. So Jazz, these are the um pieces that go in, like in it's like basically the apple part of the pie, right? Yep. For now, we're just gonna use cinnamon and sugar. No. We're gonna keep this basic. So just put as much as you want to have in there. Like I'm not gonna give you a measurement again. It's just for cinnamon. Yeah, cinnamon and sugar, whatever to taste. Pretty much. If you like more cinnamon than sugar, then do more cinnamon and sugar. No. Now we're just gonna toss them. So you want to add one of no. mm. Or do you want this to just be apple galette? I think I'm going to skip the walnuts. Okay. No. We can put chocolate sticks. as well. You want to do chocolate? Chocolate. Now we're just going like spur of the moment. Spur of the moment. Um, spur of the moment, add chocolate. I think that's a great fresh. idea. Just put a little bit in there. And then we'll toss that in. Okay. And then we'll, we'll add that after. Okay, cool. Does that get mixed in or just stay like that? Mix it in. Um, Alright, so parchment paper. That's just... The non-stick, oven-safe, easy cleanup. The three, like, So that you can just bake on it and it's not gonna stick, it's not gonna catch on fire, none of that? None of that. Cool. That works out. I wouldn't want to catch it on fire. So we're just gonna put this, like create it right on here because why not? And we don't have to move it later on, it's right on the sheet. Okay, so we're gonna build it right on the same pan we need to get it. Exactly. So we're gonna just to make this pretty, we're gonna actually make a design with these since we spent time cutting them. Like this. We're just gonna layer them. 
know. But we leave the edge of that because what we want to do is when we're done with that, fold it over into it. And that's like the crust. So now we're just going to add the pieces of chocolate because the chocolate fell in the bowl, so... More chocolate. Yeah. You could just sprinkle as much as you want, as little as you want. Only up to you. I don't want to get the chocolate. So now what we're gonna do with our butter, is we're just gonna cut off a few pieces of it. We're gonna cut these in half. And just place them wherever you want. It's gonna add flavor and it's just gonna be butter galette. Break this, like, don't be scared to go with the flow. Now we're gonna start folding the edges of the crust over onto the apples. So we're pretty much just gonna do this. We're gonna add a little bit of style, so why don't we just make a little fold? For each time you fold it, we'll just make a fold like that. You see what I mean? You want to continue like, on that side? wash the edges of this so that when we put it in the oven it comes out glossy and it comes out with color so it kind of helps brown brown it as well as makes it shiny so now we're just gonna put it in the oven and we're gonna put it for 30 minutes 30 minutes all right man see you in uh a la mode, aka with ice cream. No. But we have uh, some whipped cream handy. So we'll just get out of our no. whipped cream. I don't know, the amount of saliva that just grew under my tongue. That was crazy. No. Wow. That looks really fancy. That's for me? That's for you. All right, so that's the apple galette with, with whipped cream. With whipped cream. I mean, like a piece of no. something or a fork. I just, it's going to be gone in like two bites. Why are y'all looking? No. Word. How's that? Apple galette. No. Chocolate apple. No, apple galette with like, chocolate sprinkled in. I love it. No.